In the wee hours of the morning, a delegation traveled to the late Ombara Oshidambi's paternal village, Omutukururu, on the outskirts of Okakarara for a traditional ritual at the Holy Fire before returning to Okahanja, where a large crowd escorted him to his final resting place. Upon return in Okahanja, the remains were paraded at the Commando No. 1 for mourners to pay their last respect. A traditional ritual was also observed in his honor before the body eventually arrived at the gravesite, reserved for traditional leaders. Over Herero, burial shrines. Some broke into tears as the late Rukoro's remains arrived at the shrine, while others observed on in silence. A short ceremony also took place where leaders, predominantly traditional and political leaders, expressed messages of hope, unity and strength to his subjects. In his message of condolence, the late son, Gubishita Rukoro, fought back tears as he said his last words. Dad, I remember you telling me the words, Ta Utuberwe, which translates to die so you can be loved. And I can finally say now with my own eyes what those words meant when you said them. I am grateful. You have prepared us for this very moment. The junior Rukoro, while strongly urging mourners to avoid large gatherings at funerals, undertook to take care of his siblings while expressing gratitude to the community for the manner in which the farewell was organized. In the same breath, the late leader's widow, Dina, in an emotional statement read on her behalf, indicated that her husband was loving, kind and steadfast during his lifetime. The memorial service held on July 16, 2021. People from all walks of life, all over the world, told stories about his life and how they have been touched by his life and his work. It fills me with great pride because I know his life was never lived in vain. His legacy will continue. Today, we are leaving his remains here in the befitting Yero Shrine because indeed he was a hero. The late Rukoro is survived by his wife and nine children.